Good morning, my little crunchy potato croquettes. How are you today? I think it's a great day. It's an unboxing day again. It's exciting. I took these two out of their package because they were just, they was bought off Etsy and they just wrap them and wrap them in tape. So I just thought I'd do that. The one below it is the exciting one for me. Hello. These are exciting because this is my Victoria Knox adventure still progressing. Uh, this one, I'm just, I can't wait to get to it. So I'm going to get these out of the way first and then I can concentrate on the other one. Look at this, a beautiful Alox. And this is a smooth, I take it they call it Alox. It's smooth, it's just a little pen blade. Or it's a big pen blade and a small pen blade. It's that secondary knife, but I'm sure this has got its own name. Um, and I shall find that all out when I'm doing a review on my new acquisitions. Isn't that beautiful? What a lovely pen knife. Look how thin that is. <laughs> it literally just disappears. And there are two lovely blades on it. Really, really enamored of that. Beautiful knife. So I'm going to put that one away. There'll be reviews coming on these. Well, I'm, I'm going to do a few together rather than just... This is the second one. Look at this. It's another Alox Smooth. Absolutely beautiful. Look how thin this one is. And this is a money clip. <coughs> or I suppose you can just use it to click, clip in your pocket. But it's a money clip version. I just love this. Uh, you get a pen blade. Then you get your nail file and uh, your nail file and nail cleaner. Two fantastic tools. And then on this side, you get a lovely longer pair of scissors. Really good. Absolutely love them. Um, so there are two new ones to my collection, which probably by the end of the week, I'll be doing my top 10. <laughs> I said that in my last video, didn't I? But I, I just love it. And I love these little leather pouches they came with. These came with still their, their sellers. Um, oh, that's an Excelsior Alox Silver. The first one, and this is Excelsior. Oh no, that's a different, so that pouches obviously come from something else, but Two lovely little pouches, great to carry them in your pocket if that's the way you choose to do so. This one. Now, one of my subs when I first started here, it uh, wasn't long in, um, sent me a Leatherman. A beautiful old Leatherman. It was about 20 year old, but in perfect condition. I believe it was his father's. Um, and I'm stretching my memory. I can't remember the fellow's name, which is terrible. So if you're watching this, Truly apologise. I haven't got rid of your uh, your your um, your father's old Leatherman. My son's uh, partner just got a new job where she needed a a multi tool to carry on her belt, and I I didn't have the money that day to go and buy it, so I gave her um, that Leatherman for her to use. So it's staying in the family. It's not going anywhere. Um, it'll be on her belt and she will give it back to me if she ever gets a new one. But knowing that Leatherman, it's been truly well used, but looked after. So I have no problems. I've no worry about it going to. I wouldn't give it to my son, but I gave it to her because she'll look after it. So I had to go out and buy myself another one because it was about two weeks ago I gave it to her and I found myself lost. I kept going for the pliers. I kept going for the... That's the thing that I use quite a lot of. I, I don't know why. I just love having a pair of pliers around me and I use it for so many different things. Anyway, I thought I'd buy myself a new one. I sold a couple of knives over the weekend. Uh, sorry, the end of last week. I sold a couple of knives. So I had the money to buy myself this. And I just cannot wait to do it because I've never bought one of these. Um, I'm, I'm just using my little Rough Rider bird and trout to open it up oh, get it. sorry I'm not doing a very good job here that's typical now I got this one from Heine Haynes oh it's a parcel within a parcel let's see why rip it open when you can use your knife I hate seeing people open the packages with their hands that's why I have my knife. That's just hard use. I love that little bird and trout. Absolutely fantastic. So let's get that over there. Let's get my details over there. And look at this. The Leatherman box. Now, what have I got? There you go. I've got the Leatherman Wave Plus. 
Now, like all good YouTubers, I spent hours trying to pick which one I would have. And I'd sold quite a few, quite a few of my knives, and I had enough to buy the titanium one. And I thought to myself, you know, it was twice the price of this for very little else other than a bit of lightness. But these go on your belt, so I don't need the lightness. Um, it would have been nice to have it, but I had other things that I want to buy, and I have a, hopefully a GEC coming soon, so I had to keep the money for that. So I just chose this, the Wave, because it's probably the middle of the road of the Leathermans, and it seems to have most of the tools I will ever need, and uh, it will replace my old one adequately, because I loved that old one. There was nothing wrong. I just thought it was nice for the wee girl to give her something that she will use, and hopefully I'll get somebody in the family into knives <laughs> from that Leatherman so I'm just opening up the box it's a slide out box here oh you do get oh it's lovely it's one of the new belt the uh, new pouches so we'll have a look at that first actually because I'm dying to look at that this is like a popper do you see that it used to be there were these cheaper versions where god that's quite stiff um it used to be they were just velcro but this is much better. Oh, listen to that snap. Isn't that lovely? We'll see how that fits into that later on. Set that to the side. And here's the Leatherman. And I'm sure underneath here... No, God, I would have thought there would have been some paperwork to tell you about the Leatherman. Or does, oh, here it is in here. Oh. oh, there you go. There's your paperwork that tells you how it works. But we're not going to read that because we're men and we don't read things like that. Here is the Leatherman. It's weighty. It's heavier than my last one, but not that weighty that I'm going to fall over. It's just stunning. I mean, much like I was talking about Victoria Knox uh, the other day when I was uh, going through, and the, the standard of their fit and finish, Leatherman are another company that make millions of these things, and they have a fantastic warranty if something goes wrong. They just fix them. For 25 years, you're covered. So, I mean, this is going to last me till I go into the ground. I'll probably take this with me, see if I can get out. So, oh, very smooth. I like that. There's oil on it. Oh, isn't that? Oh, that is so just, that movement is gorgeous. It's got the removable um, wire cutter so you can replace them. And they're only a few pounds. They're not dear. Um you can crimp down at the back here. I can see that. That is a crimper. Yeah, you can see in there. That's for crimping. Um, the needle nose pliers are completely touching at the top. Yep, completely touching, which is great. And I say they're needle nose. That you know they're still quite a substantial plier. That is just beautiful. But I think the thing that that I was probably looking more is that the tools on the on this that I'm going to use an awful lot would be just having a knife there's a serrated blade look at that oh man look at that beautiful serrated blade that is champion I, I've never really used I don't know why I'm that excited I've never really used serrated blades but now I've got one I'm going to find rope I've just got to find rope now these are locking is it here How do I under oh, it's a liner lock. Oh, very dinky. I like that. And then on the other, well, what are we going to do now? There's this one. Um, and this one must be the, oh, there you go. Now, they're only 428C, which is, you know, your buck standard. But look at that. that that's well and truly, oh, my goodness, that is sharp. They really have taken the bevel back on this and put a really... Looks like a sharp edge on it. Oh, absolutely fabulous. That's all I'll ever need in my life. I mean, for using, you know, and especially this, I'm not going to use this for a hard use knife. I'll have a knife in my pocket that I can bring out if I want to use. But that is a good substantial blade on that. Um, I've lost my ruler. Don't know where my ruler is. Ah, well. Oh, here. I can do it in uh, millimetres if that's it. So it's about uh eight and a half millimeters so that's that's a good length of a blade i really like that really like that you know a good three inch blade and again the liner lock if you can see just here 
just pushing that down. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Now, the other two, all oh, right, you must just pick them. Oh, and it's a liner lock again, the saw. Beautiful looking saw. Let me just give you that. Look at the edge on that there. That is a lovely looking saw. Plenty of work in that. Plenty of work in that. And then on the other side, well, on that, the other side is here. Little groove there. Oh, and this is it. The, look, the one thing I loved in, that, in the old leather I had was it had a, a diamond coated side on the file. I used that. I remember when I first started my channel, I used that for sharpening knives, you know, just to show people that that's what it's for. And you wouldn't want to do it all the time because you will wear it out. That's the sort of thing I would use in an emergency, just to put a, a quick edge on something that went dull if I was out in the, you know, the forest or wherever. I had nothing else to sharpen it on. But I would keep it for good as such. But it is beautiful. I used my last one. I don't know many times I used the last one. You know, I was down the caravan I was out and about. Just a sharp, put a wee quick edge on, just to take if I'd rolled or anything. Absolutely beautiful. And then you have the metal file, and that is a cross grid metal. Oh, my good, that, that's a good metal file. Definitely. Metal or wood, you would use it on either or. Either or. So, that's the outside tools, which are smashing. I still don't know. Oh, these must be for the inside tools. That's what it is. I've seen them two buttons on either side, and I didn't know what they were for. So, Let's just start on this. Oh, let's just start on this side. Oh, inside. <laughs> right, let's get this out. You have a cap lifter um, and a can opener there and a V-shape in here for wire stripping, which is actually really quite useful. And I know these are... They're just tools that do a bit of everything. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what else. Oh, there we go. Let me get this. Oh, this is my screwdriver. There we go. Sorry, I'm doing that underneath there. This is the lovely uh, double bit. And it's got the... God, that's a good magnet in there. There we go. And a flathead. Really good. I like that a lot. I'm going to have to buy the tool bit set, I think. Look at that. That will do quite a few different because it is quite, it's 3D, but, you know, it'll do quite a, a lot of different sizes, I'm sure. Because, again, this is not a, a tradesman's tool. This is for just doing a bit of quick down and dirty. So there we go. That must be that. And they must, yeah, they must lock when they come out there. And this button is to really, yeah, there you go. This button here releases them when they're out in the lock position. So on the other side. Oh, there you go. You get a nice pair of scissors. Oh, they're quite good scissors now, I have to say. Different locking me mechanism here. Can you see that? That I would say that would be would last longer than, you know, typical Victorian lock scissors. I wonder what they're like. Let me just have a quick look. Because, I mean, Victorian ox scissors are very hard to beat. And you wouldn't be using this like this. Once you got it too late, you close it all up. So, let's see. That is a really nice pair of them. Blades are definitely together. Very sharp pair of scissors. So, that is really handy to have. I don't think... Oh, where am I? Oh, this button here. Oh, very easy. Very straightforward. My last one had the, the ramps on the side that you had to pull back to release the locks. And it was quite stiff. It took, it's taken my daughter-in-law daughter quite a bit to get used to it. Um, I'm going to have to get this out of the way. Let me see to get these other tools out. There is nice wee prongs. These are here for pulling the tool out, which is, which is really handy. Oh, there's a little eyeglass screwdriver. And finally, oh, like that's a that's a flathead or a a bit of a. Do you know? I actually might put a little chisel on that because it comes out. I I actually think I might make that because we don't use. I don't know what the the states is like. You very rarely see a flathead screwdriver now, 
or a screw, I should say, very, very rarely now. Um, only on older properties, and I live in a brand new property, so everything I've got in here is that, that could just become a nice little, um, just get this over and get that little light tool is very handy, obviously easily replaceable. Eyeglass tool, there you are, you see. I think that would make a fantastic little chisel for getting bits. I definitely, I'm going to make a chisel out of that. There's the first, there's the start of it. There's the first one that I'm going to do. Let me get this back in again. I'm probably, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I just, I love this. I, I love tools. I, I love my knives and I love tools that are mechanically sound and just well made. And, and uh, This sort of thing, <laughs> I know it's not a knife. Well, it is a knife because it has a knife on there. Um, and a really good lockable knife. I know it's illegal to carry here. I can give a monkey it's a work tool. It's not something I'm going to take out uh, unnecessarily, if you like. But what a fantastic, that is great. I just love the way everything about it is made. And you can get to them one-handed, open and closed. That's fantastic. And, and because my last one was 20-year-old plus, seeing this modern version, yes, it's different. But it's not that much difference that... that you would say, oh, that's... Everything about it seems to be upgraded. The, the, I don't know, the, the fit and finish in my last one was great. This is sort of gone above that again. This feels like a, solid, a really solid big work knife. Really, I think I've chose well. I really do think I've chose well. Now, I know a titanium version must be lighter, but again, it's going to be in a pouch. So I'm not really worried about it. Now, I would love to get... Um, I'm going to put this in here now and just see what it's like. It's quite tight. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's tight. But it's beautiful. You know, it's really nice. Let me just see. Look at that. That's not going to stick out of your belt. My last one had a, a, a lovely leather pouch, but to be honest with you, I like that. It's lighter. It's easier just to give it a scrub when it gets dirty. That button catch is just fantastic. So much better than Velcro. Really, and you've got the Leatherman right here, Leatherman on the front. So they're not shy of telling you. There's a little belt loop there. Quite narrow, but then I, to be honest with you, I don't tend to put it in my belt a lot. I'm usually about the house when I'm using this. It sits by my desk and when I'm footering and uh, doing maintenance and knives and things like that, that's when I would use it. But love it. Absolutely, really impressed. Now, it was just over £100 here in the UK um, from Heine, but... As a tool, absolutely excited. Loving it. And these two little beauties beside it. What a nice day for Paddy. I hope yours is every bit as exciting and you get something in the post that will make you even more excited. Take care. I'm away for a wee cup of tea. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye now.